Welcome to my video production. In this video, I am reporting on Sardis Primitive Church, which my ancestors attended over 100 years ago. Next, we review the Sardis Cemetery and some of Charlton County's earliest residents. Finally, we end up at the earliest settlement of Charlton County, Traders Hill, which was our first county seat long before Folkestone ever existed. I'm Alan Hayes from the Cemetery Newsroom, and this is a lot old water pump that they used to use in the 1860s and 1850s and all the 1800s when this church was founded. Now, isn't this pretty cool? They have one right in their front lawn. I think this is an amazing In the 1800s, I am not kidding. These are actual bullet holes in this church. I am going to be a good historian and keep this church the way I found it and leave it just the way it is. Bye! Father Samuel Chansey died January 11th, 1923, and my great great grandmother, Miss Carrie Chansey, died January 11th, 1923. Now, what is amazing about that is my great grand great great grandfather died 24 hours within her. Now, I've done re some research through my family, and my grandmother says that. My great-great-grandfather died, and when my great-great-grandmother found out, she just lost the will to live, and within 24 hours, he died. Now, isn't that an amazing story? Hi again, and I have found something else. My, my great-great-grandfather and great-great-grandmother's infant son, who was born June 25th, 1903 and died July 29th, 1903. He only lived for one month and four days. And now here's another infant son of 
my great great grandmother and great great grandfather. He he was born September 10th, 1915, and died October 20th, 1915. He lived for one month and ten days. Okay. Hi again. I am doing the big, biggest grade, and we have three winners, three ties. The, the first is Edward P. Walther. He was born May 19, 1867, and died August 19, 1913. And now, we have I'm sorry, I cannot read their names, but it is really big, isn't it? This grave right here is the wife of W.E. Gibson. We do not know her name because it is not given on... Her name is Emma. Emma Gibson. She was born July 18th, 1895, which is my birthday, July 18th. And she died April 22nd, 1929. Oh. I found this old grave, and her name was Emily Mazel, and she died June 1896. Now, isn't that kind of old? This one I thought you might like. They died July 25th, 1901. Oh, and I almost forgot, her name was Mary Nasworth. This one might be one of the oldest ones we've seen. His name is Paul Johnson, and he died July 6, 1896. Now that is really old. Hi, and now this one is probably the oldest one we've found so far. His name was Perry Mazel, and he died May of 1880. Now, that was over 130 years ago. Now, this one, I have a category of favorite grave, and by far my favorite grave is my great-grandfather, Mr. Wade Lee Chancy. He was born in 1872, and he died in 1961. Hi, I'm Island Hayes from the Cemetery Newsroom reporting from Traders Hill Cemetery. Now, we have found a really old one, Miss Maria Tracy. She died the 100, 100 year anniversary of our country in 1876. James Downey, and he died May 31st, 1868. Now, you might not think that's very really old, but that is like 130 years, maybe. Well, I'm going to leave you with some really cool images of Traders Hill Cemetery. And as my faith leads me, Pray and thanks for all those who sacrificed to make Charlton County what it is today.
smile.